we don't know whether he's been practicing or not. He should be practicing. It's the Masters. Um, for me, I think he would want to try and find some of that form back. And I think you can only get that on the practice table. But there he looked all out of sorts, you know, the f first few shots in the first couple of games, you know, the pink in the middle. You know, these shots are sort of bread and butter shot for these top pros. They shouldn't be missing them. And uh, he just has to now go back, refocus and probably get ready for the last few tournaments and get ready to try and play well in the World Championships, which I'm sure he will do. But at the moment, he is struggling. He is struggling. We saw you struggling actually in the interview with Rachel ahead of that match. He looked a little bit uncertain there in the match. We saw confirmation of that. Let's find out what he said afterwards. Luca, you didn't have high expectations uh, coming into your match against uh, Jack, but you just didn't look comfortable out there. No, I didn't feel good at all. I mean, yeah, terrible game. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you said your mindset's it's really good, but how do we get that confidence back for you? Um, yeah, I mean, after the, the breaks I made to win the two frames, I felt good, actually. But then I missed a stupid red on 72 again. And yeah, I just need something like a little maxi break or something like that. It's, it's something just to kick, kick start you, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it will come. It's OK. I've been there many times. Everyone's been there. I mean, even Neil Robertson is struggling. He's one of the best players ever to play the game. If he's struggling, then anyone can struggle, you know. But yeah, I'll be back. And um, I don't know when, though. <laughs> well, listen, um, it's a case of just getting that confidence back. I really feel that uh, for you um, as, as world champion. And remember what Stephen Hendry said to you. Yeah, didn't work though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, you, you, you've been the best in the world and you, you can do it. Yeah, I mean, the things I can do on the practice table, nobody can, but just on the match table, you need to do it, you know. And I'm always relaxed, I, f I feel no pressure at all. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I, need, maybe I need something like, yeah, I don't know. Is there something missing in, in your preparation, do you feel? Yeah, too much practice. Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your time. Um, it not speed today, but we, we hope we see, see you back strong very soon. Yeah, hopefully. I'll try my best again and go back to the practice table, work a bit in Belgium, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be back soon. Thank you. Cheers. I've said it once before, I'll say it again. We love Luca because he is honest. Well, it's Jack Nazarski who goes through to his second Masters quarter final where he will be facing the winner of tonight's match between Mark Williams and Ali Carter. Um, and if we just respond initially to that interview, Jimmy, he said something that was fairly bold about... He's, he apparently is practising well, which is slightly, slightly surprising. Yeah. I I, when he spoke to Rachel before the match, he turned around and said that I've got no confidence. I, I, you know, I, when I'm, in, I'm playing, I'm, I'm not feeling any confidence. And then he turned around and said he had a good mindset. So it was sort of one or the other, I can't understand it. but. He's such a great player, Luca Pissarro. He's champion of the world. He's got all the shots, he's got everything. But, you know, for me, if I'm honest, if you don't play and then turn up at these tournaments, you're going to have performances like that. You've got to treat it like a job. OK, he went and won the World Championships without playing, won it on instinct, natural talent. But, you know, that was, uh, you know, an incredible event. Whether he, you can't keep doing that, put it that way.